Okay, my name is Nomadlo Zinkosi. I'm the MMC for Economic Development, City Planning and Real Estate, uh, which is now called City Development and Planning. But currently, I'm the caretaker MMC of Finance, and I'm so delighted and I'm very happy that uh, today uh, the council would have managed to pass uh, the budget um, after two consecutive um, council meetings where our budget uh, didn't go through. But today uh, our council gave us a go ahead. They uh, critique the budget, but they made sure that the budget goes through and were delighted and were so happy uh, that this budget is the budget uh, of the people and uh, the city of Eguruleni made sure today through the council meeting that uh, community services that the community needs are being passed through through this council meeting. So I'm so happy. I don't know what should I do. Firstly, um, when we start the process of budget, uh, we go through different uh, community uh, participation processes where uh, our community will give us uh, needs. Usually the city will um, allow community to give us uh, at least five needs. And then after that, ourselves as the city through the budget steering committee, we'll have to sit down, check all the needs, balance all the needs, um, of the community and make sure that when you budget, you budget, the, uh, you give the budget towards the needs that the community would have asked you for. Uh, for. Now, uh, community would have given us five needs. Now, uh, because of the kind of our uh, economic era that we're in, we know all of us that our e economy now is not well uh, balanced, but we made sure that uh, our wards uh, all of them get two priorities, you know, for them to make sure they give uh, services to the community. So, so, so that's the process of the budget. You go to the uh, public meetings, they give you uh, the needs, you sit down, you plan, you divide the budget according to the... So there is the operation budget and there's also uh, a CAPEX budget. CAPEX uh, budget deals with your big projects and your operational budget deals with uh, operational issues, the day-to-day -day, uh, running and uh, the projects that are being done daily. Now, and your capital budget, it's where you find um, halls being built, it's where you find business hubs uh, being built across the city. So our budget is, is, is balanced. Uh, today we managed to part passed um, a 60 billion budget for the city of Igor Lane. Uh, my name is uh, Alderman um, Dr. Kakaza, the executive mayor for the city of Igor Lane. Today, council of the city of Igor Lane approved the budget uh, of, of our people. Uh, we are very happy that uh, you know the collective wisdom of councillors, they have been able to approve, uh, you know, this uh, budget. We uh, want to thank the, uh, you know, political parties uh, represented in council uh, for their efforts to ensure that to actually approve the budget, so that when we start the new financial year on the first of July, we actually have, uh, you know, service delivery that is uh, funded. This will go a long way in ensuring that uh, we continue to deliver services to our people. That the six key, key pillars that we announced in the state of the city's address, uh, you know, are now integrated into the municipal plans. That the program of, uh, you know, war room to actually ensure that uh, you know we are more responsive in delivering uh, services but we deliver those services with the necessary agility uh, it actually is now integrated into 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 the planning uh, systems of the city and like you said that this budget was uh, injected at least twice has there been any major amendments to it yes council had to emphasize the issue of the uh, you know revenue enhancement uh, but uh, also importantly uh, that we deal uh, you know extensively with issues of uh, financial sustainability you know that uh, the city's uh, a budget but also the collection uh, efforts because our people they are actually struggling because of the economic difficulties but we must look at a city uh, you know that will be able to sustain uh, you know the delivery of services uh, you know in the 
you know, short uh, and also long term. And that is very important because uh, you would have noticed, you know, some of the pressures, uh, you know, in delivering, uh, you know, services. And we think, uh, you know, by July, we should be, you know, be more robust in actually ensuring that, uh, you know, the revenue is able to carry uh, all the service delivery imperatives. Yes. Final one, uh, yeah. Can you reiterate your statement as to why you removed the, I mean, the MMC for five years? No, we had to... Um, <laughs> you know act because there was a slow movement in finalizing the the budget we are happy that the interim mmc mmc of uh, city planning and um, and economic development alderman nomad was in course has been able to put you know efforts to ensure that that which uh, you know we had put forward in the soccer address uh, you know is actually paid i mean i mean integrated into the budget but importantly that the areas of revenue enhancement are actually incorporated into the budget. We think this sends a clear message uh, you know, to all members of the mayoral committee, to all councillors, that our people, they want us to respond uh, with greater speed in delivering services. And uh, I'm sure all members of the mayoral committee uh, now, they understand that we are a city uh, at work and that uh, we shall not compromise in the quality of services to our people. Thank you.